so beautiful. So good morning, I am in the park. And guess what? There's freaking mosquitoes. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Every day I go to the park expecting that somehow the mosquitoes will magically disappear and that of course they don't. Do I put on bug spray? No. Nope. Insanity. Anyways, I woke up to my group chat on fire because our professor decided last night to schedule a meeting for today after not showing up last week. I mean, last week is our scheduled time. And I straight up said, nope, I have an appointment. Can't go, sorry. I mean, I said it more professionally than that, but I'm not, I'm not rescheduling my therapy appointment for a check-in with you. I'm gonna check in with my actual therapist who can actually help me. So anyways, that's that. Today I'm gonna to figure out how to use my kale because I stress bought some at the farmer's market. <laughs> Even though I literally never buy kale and I don't ever use it, so. <sighs> Anyways. Oh, I'm a mess right now. Happy Thursday. Another day, another uh, therapy appointment, dressing up for my therapist. <laughs> Woo! Okay, just saw my therapist, which felt so good to talk about things and um, the biggest thing I'm working through is getting closure for a situation that broke me the first time around um, and I feel like the closure that I need and what she supports is trying to reach out to this person who I literally have not contacted since the situation occurred and that terrifies me and so we're taking baby steps first step today is to even find out if i can contact this person so that's my first step that's the baby step i'm taking today and i haven't tried to look if i can contact this person since the situation occurred i know i'm being very cryptic but i don't want to really give the deets because it's it's complicated and it's a messy bad sad situation so that's my first step today is to even see to do a little sleuthing to see if I can even contact them so yeah this is gonna be it, it's hard it's it the stuff I mean therapy I'm so glad that I'm doing this don't get me wrong but it's really difficult because it's it's opening the wounds again and I spent a lot of time suppressing those wounds and putting band-aids on and now it's opening up and it's it's hard. It's really difficult, but it feels good. It's a good difficult, so yeah. I mean, she also suggested that I probably shouldn't try and contact this person until I finish <laughs> my degree in a couple weeks because we both know me and we know that it will consume me if I try to do that right now and I can't get the result that I want so ah, I'm going I hate pulling out of there okay so yeah <sighs> lots of feelings lots of feelings but god I just love my therapist so much she's so great and I'm so I'm so thankful that it's a good situation because the last therapist I had was really amazing and then um oh, I just not pulled in so yeah Yay for mental health! <laughs>